Hello and happy Tuesday to you. Been reading in this powerful, powerful book, Fair Sunshine, Character Studies of the Scottish Covenanters. And it's uh, by a guy named Jock Purvis or Purvis. Um, reading on this guy named James Renwick, who was a Scottish man that lived during the time when there was no religious freedom in Scotland. Um, it was, uh, the king was Catholic. And if you were not Catholic, you were, you know, an apostate, you were worthy of spreading heresy and death. And so many of these Scottish, what were known as the Covenanters, uh, perished during that season because they, uh, many of them being uh, Presbyterian and uh, having, you know, a very different view scripturally, they uh, would go about, and they, it was illegal for them to preach in a church. So, I mean, they were pretty much all um, like circuit writers, you know, they would just move around and, and s spread the message. And so this James Renwick, he was a young man, only 26 years old when they finally caught him. And he had been preaching for some time. And uh, so they, they caught him, you know, he was in prison. They gave him plenty of opportunities to recant his faith and, and um, to, to turn to the state church and to embrace it. And of course, he had no interest in doing that. And so um, it's interesting because while he's in prison, he's on death row, basically, waiting his execution, waiting to be hung. And his mother and the young sisters, um, they went to visit him. And they went to eat with him and to worship says, when the young covenanter returned thanks that morning, he said, O Lord, thou hast brought me within two hours of eternity, and this is no matter of terror to me. For then, if I were to lie down in a bed of roses, nay, through grace to thy praise, I may say, I never had the fear of death since I came to this prison, but from the place where I was taken, I could have gone very composedly to the scaffold. Oh, how can I contain this to be within two hours of the crown of glory? He, he was giddy with excitement to know that within two hours, he was going to be hanging from the scaffold um, victorious in that he was going to be in the presence of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And it's just amazing as he encouraged them, don't cry over me, don't... Why in the world would you cry over me when I, within here in two hours, I'm going to be uh, receiving a crown. I'm going to be rewarded. And uh, what appears to the, the government and the king as to be, I, I appear to be a failure. No, I'm victorious and I'm getting my crown. Let that be an encouragement to you today and Maybe if you want to be inspired by someone with a faith worth dying for, you can read up on James Renwick, R-E-N-W-I-C-K. God bless you all. Have a great evening.